In this video, I will make you understand the concept of zeroth law of thermodynamics and temperature in very less time and in a more effective and efficient way. So let us get started. Suppose you have three beakers of same volume, for example, 600 ml volume for all the three beakers. And you put all the three beakers on a table, same table. And then you put different volume of water in the three beaker. For example, in beaker A, we keep, you keep suppose 500 ml of water. In beaker B, you keep 400 ml of water. And in beaker C, you keep 250 ml of water. And then what you do, you connect beaker A and beaker B with a tube so that water can flow from beaker A to beaker B or beaker B to beaker A. And similarly, you put another tube between beaker B and C from the bottom. You connect them. And then you also put a valve between uh, beaker A and beaker B in the pipeline, in the tube. And you also put another valve that can control the flow or on off the flow. Uh, in the tube between beaker B and C. So initially they had different volume of water, different level of water. But if you open both the valve, then what will happen? After some time, some water will flow from beaker A to beaker B and some water will flow from beaker B to beaker C because beaker A is have higher volume than beaker B. So automatically because of difference in height, difference in volume, this water will flow from A to B and then from B to C and finally all the three beaker will have same level of water or same volume of water. So this is exactly the concept of zeroth law of thermodynamics. Suppose you have three systems A, B and C and system A and system B are in contact using a diathermic wall. Now, what is diathermic wall? Diathermic wall is a wall which allows the heat to flow between two body. It allows heat communication. It allows heat transfer between two body like metal wall. Similarly, you see here B and C between B and C also there is a diathermic wall. It means that heat can be transferred between B and C. But between A and C, there is an adiabatic wall. Adiabatic wall is a wall which does not allow heat transfer, any heat transfer between two systems. This is like an insulator. For example, a wood piece, piece of wood or glass or anything which does not allow heat to transfer is called as adiabatic wall. So here you can see that A and B are connected using uh, uh, diathermic wall. B and C are also connected using diathermic wall, but A and C are connected using uh, adiabatic wall. So what will happen after some time? A and B will exchange heat and B and C will also exchange heat. So after some time, the temperature of A will be equal to temperature of B because they will exchange heat. They will equalize the heat amount of heat that they have. Similarly, B and C will also transfer heat across the diathermic wall and their temperature will be equal. So A and B will be in thermal equilibrium and B and C will also be in thermal equilibrium. So finally, all the three body A, B and C will have same temperature. They will be in thermal equilibrium. So after this thermal equilibrium, even if you put A and C and you put a diathermic wall between them, you will see that there is no change in temperature of A and C because they already have the same temperature. So this is how zeroth law of thermodynamics is defined. Zeroth law of thermodynamics says that if A and B two bodies are in thermal equilibrium and B and C are also in thermal equilibrium, then all the three body A and B, A, B and C will be in thermal equilibrium. This is called as zeroth law of thermodynamics. It is as simple as when we say if A equal to B and B equal to C, then A is equal to C. And from this concept of zeroth law of thermodynamics, the temperature's definition came. So if I ask you what is temperature, you can say that it is a measure of degree of hotness or coldness. 
but this is not the classical way classical thermodynamics way of defining temperature because we are here defining temperature with the help of heat the amount of heat contained in a system but temperature is a thermodynamic property and that's why it must be defined it must not be defined using the concept of heat and therefore temperature is defined based on zeroth law of thermodynamics and from that the definition of temperature is temperature is a thermodynamic property that determines whether or not a system is in thermal equilibrium with other system so temperature is a property thermodynamic property which determines whether two bodies are in thermal equilibrium or not so this is the concept of temperature so if you like my way of teaching if like this video if you love this video please subscribe to this channel and also share with your friends